Tis the season to be annoyed. Every year the same thing. I live alone. I can handle it just fine. Come Christmas Day, I'm just fine. But then it happens. Beep on Skype. Beep on Facebook. Beep, beep, beep. People need me. People need me to give them emotional thoughts and well-beings. Whew. You know, I've been busy since 9 o'clock this morning. It's now, what, 6 o'clock? That's 9 hours of me convincing other men. It's okay. It's all right. Hang in there. Ugh. Now, I don't want to sound selfish and complain about it, but actually, it was a little bit draining on me. I'm home alone right now, too. I have no Christmas dinner. I don't even have a tree. I don't have a present. I don't have anything. Not even a family member that comes by. Not that that bothers me, because that's their problem. <laughs> but at the same time, I see other guys out there who make this a real genuine concern. I mean, I, we all know the suicide rates on Christmas and all like that. But man, it seems like when people get... The, wait, sorry. <sighs> it seems like when people get to uh, know that I'm out there and help people out and help other guys out, they all come and ring it on my doorbell looking for a little bit of love on the Christmas days. I guess I'm pretty positively charged in that sense that I can help a lot of people out. I think today I've helped like nine guys or 11 guys. I've lost count. But some of them had families. Shit, sorry. <sighs> some of them have families and kids, and they don't have uh, them around on Christmas Day. And it just rips their emotions apart, and they need somebody to come and talk to, and I'm gladly to be there for them because I don't want them hurting themselves or uh, sitting there all day with super negative thoughts. I kind of tell them, you know, hey, grab a cookie, grab a hot cocoa, grab a good movie, and sit down in your bed all day and relax if that's what you feel like doing. You have the right to do that. Make it a holiday for yourself. You know, pamper yourself a bit, spoil yourself a bit, because you're a guy, you know, and you're well worth it, you know. you got to take care of yourself, too. And since we're on the subject of taking care of yourselves, let me tell you a little story. Today in the world, there's men acting out there like it's cool to be cool. Give me a break. It's cool to be macho. Ugh. When will you all learn that once you become vulnerable to yourself and explore your own emotions and explore yourself that you will fully develop into the man that you always wish to be. You have to do the soul search. If you don't do the soul search, you're never going to become nothing more than a machine and a puppet to some woman. You're allowed to be yourself. You're allowed to show emotion. You're allowed to be yourself. As I always said before, if God did not want men to be able to have the ability to cry, he would never have given us the ability. I'm not saying go out and be a crybaby or anything like that, but I'm saying, you know, you're allowed to be who you are. You're allowed to have emotion. You're allowed to think for yourself. Sometimes when I help these guys out, I hear them talking about their emotions, you know, but sometimes I wonder if they're really talking about their emotions or if they're self-exploring their emotions. They don't even know how to deal with their own emotions. I mean, let's not forget that little boys are trained since childhood never to be emotional. To always be solid. To keep all your problems to yourself. Never talk to your brothers about it. Never be open. Fucking hell, that's why I made my channel in the first place. It's so I can be open, show everybody it's okay to be open, and look what the result has been. Look how many men have come to my channel and left their story behind. That's what a big toe brother really is, man. Somebody who knows and understands and does give a shit. If I was to ask any guy right now... Do you have anybody in your life who gives a shit? Well, usually the answer would be their family or girlfriends. But what if you don't have either? Then you're stuck there all day long with your own emotions, nobody to talk to because nobody acts like they give a shit. It's all your own problem. Even though it's not really your own problem, it's a national problem. Why don't people gather up and help each other out? How am I supposed to do it all by myself? I mean, you know my time I said Merry Christmas today? My God! You know how many times I said, hey, it'll be okay, man, just hang in there. You know how many times I said today, you know that, uh, oh, guys, you just don't know how many things I've actually said today. It's just, I feel like I'm a vending machine of positive thoughts and goodwill to men. And they do, they do appreciate my work into them and their t my time, and they do reciprocate. They say Merry Christmas to me back. They talk to me like a friend, as a buddy. 
But it's really quite hard on me to deal with all these men one by one by one and then not feel drained at the end of the day. I mean, if you want to really know what the men's rights movement is all about, open up yourself on Skype, say all people can come in and have a talk with you and see how many people actually join. It's amazing how many men out there are actually in trouble today. Just emotional trouble. Who don't know how to tolerate and deal with their own emotions because they've been always brainwashed to believe that they don't have a right fucking to be emotional. It's terrible. They torture themselves with psychological torture because that's all they know how to do. The only way they know how to express themselves is to talk to that voice on the inside and see what the voice has to say back to them. For every trucker out there who's working overtime tonight, for every father out there who cannot see his child, to every son who cannot see his father, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. I can't stand how this is acting out, how feminism is rolling out. Why won't men stand up for themselves and take it back? The proof that men are the authority of the world is so gigantic, folks. Look at MGTO in the last three years, how much it has accomplished. It has accomplished more in three years than the feminists have created uh, in 60 Men have been putting fear into women that they're going to opt out. All this in the last three years. Could you imagine what it's going to be like in another three years from now, another five years from now, another ten years from now? Maybe men will finally take the reins back and say, hey, wait a minute, we were always supposed to be in control. You whores lied to us. Wouldn't that be a nice thing to see? That when a pussy comes up to a guy and says, I like you, he says, get fucked, bitch. Wouldn't that be a nice thing to see? Instead of seeing two men fight over a pussy who doesn't, the pussy doesn't even deserve either guy. You see, I said I'm a men's rights activist. I'm here for men. That's because I understand the complexity of men. I understand what men go through. I understand. And all guys out there who understand have the duty. The duty, as in the duty of the brotherhood, to listen to your fellow brother so he does not put a gun to his head. So he doesn't drink two bottles of Jack Daniels tonight. So he doesn't have to take a sleeping pill to sleep. Talk to them. That's the best thing a MGTOWer could do is talk to your fellow brothers. They have nobody to turn to at all. All the homeless people on the street tonight too. If I could, I would go around with blankets and sandwiches and feed everybody. And give everybody a warm blanket. Hell, I'd let them into my own house if that made them feel better. They could sleep on my couch. That's the kind of guy I am. That's how many of you are. And you know it. But you all hide behind the facade of, I have to be cool. I have to be macho. I have to be powerful. Why? Those things only hold you back from your own personal development. This is War Drums Fire. You all have a Merry Christmas today. Think about the homeless. Think about the single fathers out there with children. Think about the fathers who don't have children. Think about the sons who don't have a father tonight. Think about all the little kids in an orphanage. Think about all the little children in West Africa today and East Africa today. Think about all the children out there that don't have fathers today. And in your head and in your mind, wish them a Merry Christmas too. See you all later, guys.